Okay, <clears throat> so let's do the same thing for status. Let's go over here to tables. And we'll probably fly through this a little bit better. So ID int not null. Identity specification, yes, true, and we just create a description, it's a bar char, 50, cannot be null, and we'll save that, say yes, and we'll call this status, <coughs> okay, so go back here to architect, go to our views, We're going to need a window. Our new window is going to be. Oh, didn't give me. Oh, not on my view. Go to my view. A window. A new window. It's going to be status. Dot. Create. Status. And we're going to item ID. And just call it create. Status. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so I'll go to Design View, and we'll change this to Add Status, and we'll give this a V box, and then we'll come down here to our forms and give it a form panel, and we'll give this form. Uh, no title. Zap that. And then in my form, I need a text field. I need a button. I need a container. And I drag my button and go to my container and make it an H box. And give it a pack of center. <coughs> and put my button, drag him down into my container. And set my button's width. 100. Give this guy a reference. Actually, we just need a name. That's all we need. So we'll call this description. And we'll take our button. We'll put a click event on it. I'm going to do my infamous... Over here, var me equals this form equals button dot up window dot down form get form form dot submit <coughs> method post. Now we haven't created the URL for it yet. We're going to do that. But we know it's going to be something along the lines of whoop, data status create status.php and our parameters are going to be description me.lookup Actually, I don't need any parameters because it's going to submit the form. So we'll say success, function, response, failure, function. Oh, this is form in action, I'm sorry. Let me change this one. Go back over here to uh, create our function to handle this. And process form. So form, action, success, window. So back up here, we're going to say click this little edit guy. Me.process form. Form action true button dot up window me dot process 
form form action false button dot up window sweet now in our process form if success is true else ext dot message dot alert and then we're gonna say our result equals json dot parse action dot response dot response text so in our alert we can come here and say result dot error result dot message otherwise we can say when dot close okay so now we need to come back up to our viewport and in our toolbar we need one more button and actually no we're gonna put him over here we're gonna go into this guy and say add and come down to here go to his text and we're gonna say add category or add status and we'll put a button click on him it's gonna be click and this is going to be add status click and inside of that button I don't know ext dot create <coughs> this is bugs dot view dot status dot create status And here we'll say bar w equals we can't use that oh we could we'll just say s for status s dot show let's just test all that out real quick we've got a console open update the page oh and I edited the wrong guy that's cool that's cool let's fix it real quick back to our design and our viewport this is going to be edit and this is going to be add status we'll kill this button here there we go save that bring this guy back up hope we put the event in the right place add category still works beautiful add status does uh, not work. Okay, let's go drill down over here and see why. Go back over here. That's not really telling us much, is it? So this guy still works fine. Bugs dot view dot status. Okay. I see. Go back up here. Come down here. Let's make him a lowercase s. Save that, and we'll go back here and look at our view. Now we have status. Beautiful. I bet you he's going to work now. Let's see. We'll find out. We'll figure it out. Not. No big deal. Add status. Okay. So he's okay. A couple finishing touches on him. That status design. This container needs a margin of 10. This window needs some padding. This form needs some padding. Ten. And then our window needs to be a little bit more realistic looking. And then we need to save. Hit all that up. Let's check him out real quick and we'll finish this video off. Cool. One last piece that we missed. Go to label. And say description. And align them to the right. Save that. Check him out. Perfect. Perfect. 